Sea turtles, Abraham Lincoln, and Greece are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is June 16th, 2022. It is the 167th day of the year. We got 198 days left. It is the 24th Thursday and the 25th week in the 89th day of spring. Five days left until summer. Still really cold here in Portland, Oregon. One of my friends put up on Facebook that it's the 15th of June and he just had to put up the heat in his house. That's totally weird for this state, this area of the state. If today's your birthday, you're a Gemini. Today is World Sea Turtle Day. Every year on June 16th, World Sea Turtle day highlights the importance of sea turtles. The day also encourages global supporters to dive into the threats that sea turtles face. Interesting fact, yesterday I was reading an article about how certain beaches in Florida, they can't use their outdoor lights and they turn off all the uh, street lights and things like that because the turtles are coming on to shore to lay their eggs or whatever and too many lights confuse them and keep them away from the beach. So it's like the police and city officials go around and make sure everyone's got their lights off or at least have curtains covering so light doesn't get out of your house. There are seven species of sea turtles. These include green, hawksbill, Kemp's Ridley, leatherback, loggerhead, and olive Ridley. Of these species of turtle, the leatherback is the largest. All right, let's see what else June 16th has given us. 1811, survivors on the Pacific Fur Company's ship Tonkin blow up their own ship. Yeah, so this was a fur trading ship that left Vancouver, Canada, and they went out to Vancouver Island and they were trading with the different tribes. Well, they got to this one place and this one tribe got on board and they were doing trading and things weren't going well. There was arguments, things had gone south a few times and they got off the ship. The next day they tried again. At some point, one of the indigenous people got slapped in the face and things were already heated. Well, trading continued, or at least an attempt to trade, and finally they reached a deal where they had all these knives that were made and they gave them to the indigenous people and they were trying to trade back and forth. Well, when the indigenous people got the knives in their hands, they attacked the crew and started killing people. So the ones that were still on board the ship, basically they were kind of captive. Uh, the next morning, they decided to kill themselves and blow up the ship with all the indigenous people on board. Only one man survived and he made it back to Fort Astoria in Oregon and told the story. 1858, Abraham Lincoln delivers the House Divided speech in Springfield, Illinois. This speech was directed at the South and the North. He was saying that a country cannot survive when half of the country has legal slavery and the other half does not. It was a very important speech. 1884, the first purpose-built roller coaster, the Switchback Railway, opens in New York City's Coney Island Amusement Park. So before this, people were doing weird things that, I mean, this wasn't the first roller coaster, but it was the first one that was built to be an amusement ride. Previous roller coaster type things where people would get in mine cars on old abandoned mines and just go down the rails with no brakes, no nothing like that. And at the end, they would usually get to a sand pit or something like that. And some would slow to a stop, some would flip over and people get launched out of it. A lot of injuries, but this was the first actual roller coaster built. 1911, IBM is founded as the computing tabulating recording company in Endicott, New York. 1933, the National Industrial Recovery Act is passed in the United States, allowing businesses to avoid antitrust prosecutions if they establish voluntary wage, price, and working condition regulations on an industry-wide basis. Basically, police yourself and the government won't get involved. 1972, the largest single-site hydroelectric-powered project in Canada is inaugurated at Churchill Falls Generation Station. 1977, Oracle Corporation is incorporated in Redwood Shores, California as Software Development Laboratories, SDL, by Larry Ellison, Bob Miner, and Ed Oates. Still going to this day. 1981, President Ronald Reagan awards Congressional Gold Medal to Ken Taylor, Canada's former ambassador to Iran, for helping six Americans escape from Iran during the hostage crisis of 1979 to 1981. He is the first foreign citizen to be bestowed this honor. 2012, the United States Air Force's robotic Boeing X-37B space plane returns to Earth after a classified 469-day orbital mission. Movies released on June 16, 1978. Greece. Everybody knows Greece. Everybody loved Greece. Well, not everyone. I liked it at the time. Now I'm kind of over it. But it is an amazing movie for a lot of different reasons.
Here's the rundown in case you never saw Grease. Sandy and Danny fall in love over the summer and attempt to rekindle their romance once school starts. It's a musical romance comedy based on a musical of the same name. Grease was successful both critically and commercially, becoming the highest grossing musical film ever at the time. Its soundtrack in 1978 was the second best-selling album of the year. The album that beat them was from the 1977 movie Saturday Night Fever, which also starred John Travolta. The album earned an Oscar nomination for Hopelessly Devoted to You at the 51st Academy Awards. In 2020, the film was selected for preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress as being culturally, historically, and aesthetically significant. This movie starred John Travolta as Danny, Olivia Newton-John as Sandra, or Sandy, had Stalker Channing, Frankie Avalon, Didi Khan, Jeff Conway, Sid Caesar was in this one. Interesting fact, Carrie Fisher and Marie Osmond were the two girls they were trying to decide on to play the role of Sandy in the movie, and John Travolta suggested Olivia Newton-John. Years later, Marie Osmond said that she was getting ready to turn down the role when she found out that Sandy was supposed to be a bad girl at one point and dress all in a tight leather outfit. She's very much a Utah Mormon and wasn't going for that. This was at the height of Marie Osmond's fame. I had such a crush on Marie Osmond when I was a kid. Her and Linda Ronstadt. Oh my God. Yeah, that shows you how old I am. Born on June 16th, 1970, Phil Mickelson. He is World Golf Hall of Fame inductee who won his first Masters tournament in 2004 and then took the title again in 2006 and 2010. Although naturally right-handed, he mirrored his dad and played golf as a lefty, becoming the first left-handed player to win the U.S. Amateur Tournaments. Died on June 16th, 2017, Helmut Kohl, German conservative politician who was the Chancellor of Germany from 1982 to 1998. Many historians credit him with reunifying West and East Germany. He was drafted into World War II in the last weeks of the war but never saw any combat. He helped design the treaty which established the European Union in 1993. In 1999, he received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Bill Clinton. He died in Germany at the age of 87 due to natural causes. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.